stampers it's kim vogel with the basement bunch stampers and i'm here for another terrific tuesday video today i'm going to share with you a really fun and cute card that i created using the farmhouse christmas stamp set if you don't have the stamp set yet and you love the country theme and look to cards definitely one that you're going to want to add to your collection what i like about this stamp set is that you don't actually have to use it just for christmas you could mask off the little um tree and use the truck just for other kind of cards or the house for for welcome to our neighborhood cards um really nice stamp set so i'm going to actually do my best to get through this video today with all of you i'm suffering from a little bit of a cold so you can probably tell my voice is a little bit different um but I loved this card and I also wanna share with you how to use some of the blends to do some coloring on this card. So um, the, uh, the paper that I used, let me talk about the paper a little bit. I used the um, Festive Farmhouse Designer Series paper as well. These are a couple of the patterns. Now if you go to my blog post on this card, you will see um, a list of all the supplies that I used and you'll be able to see more of the samples of the different patterns that you have in this paper stack. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. My card base is a very vanilla piece of cardstock, cut five and a half by eight and a half. Now for this card, I chose to use the Thick Whisper White, and I haven't really talked about the Thick Whisper White before, but it, I yet like to use the Thick Whisper White, or very vanilla in this case, for card bases. They just seem to make a better base for me and a little bit thicker um, on the bottom for your card. So that I'm just gonna fold in half or you can score it at four and a quarter to get a nice crisp fold. From there, I have a piece of designer series paper. This is cut five and a quarter by four and I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this down to my card front like so. And again, it's all double-sided, so I could have picked to use the other side as well. Then I cut a piece of mossy meadow cardstock. Now this mossy meadow is cut four and a quarter by three and a quarter, and the coordinating designer series paper is cut four by three. Again, I know I've mentioned in previous videos that I really like this four by three cut because there is no waste on your 12 by 12 piece of cardstock when cutting it four by three. And so that is why I cut the mossy meadow um, four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm just gonna adhere these two together as well. And then I secured this entire piece onto my card using the Stampin' Dimensionals. So let me bring those in. And I am just going to be putting these on the four corners here. And then this I just kind of um, eyeballed the center to put this onto my card. And what I like about this card is there's not a lot of fuss to it. The paper in itself is what draws your attention to this card because it coordinates. Look how beautiful that is. Just love it. Um, then in advance, I've cut out a um, one of our stitched framelits. This is our stitched circle using very vanilla cardstock. And I'm going to bring in my Stampin' mat to stamp on top of here. And um, because I'm going to be using these Stampin' blends, I need to use um, Memento Black ink. So Memento Black is the black ink of choice when you are coloring with your blends. Um, you don't want to use your stays on because you might ruin your markers. It might smear all together. So I'm going to go ahead and put this truck right onto my stitched framelit. And I'm going to let that dry for just a moment. Um, I want to make sure it's good and dry before I start coloring it with my blends. So I'm going to also bring in this little scrap of white. Now this is cut three quarters of an inch by, I want to say maybe it's an inch and a half or two inches. I literally hand cut these half the time. I don't actually measure them. But this is where my sentiment's going to go. So I, mine says thoughts of happiness and joy to you and yours. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp that onto my little piece of cardstock here. And you'll see that I'm doing this over on the edge more because I want to cut a little banner piece into this um, greeting. You'll see that here on my sample where I've cut a little banner in there. So the best way to do that is to simply cut up, oh, my scissors are getting tangled here, is to cut up the center, or I say I'd like to say eyeball the center, and then cut from the corner in to the middle. So the corner up into the middle and that kind of gives you a really nice little little V there also going to use some Stampin dimensionals and put a couple of these here onto this and this is also going to go on my card 
And then I'm going to share with you the awesome burlap, the new burlap that we have in our holiday catalog. And this burlap is called the Striped Burlap Trim. And I love this burlap. And I simply made a, a knot. Okay, so you can see I'm just making a simple knot here. And I'm just kind of twisting it nice and flat to get this right here to be good. I'm just kind of twisting and working with it a little bit there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this at an angle. And I'm going to glue dot this onto my card. Now because this is a little bit of a thicker twine or thicker burlap, you are going to want to use a couple of glue dots. More than just your typical standard one. And I'm going to glue this down right here on the top. Um, and I'm going to actually put a couple onto these as well so that that gets good and glued and secured down. Now again, you wouldn't have to do that if you didn't want to, but I like to have my cards really um, stand, you know, secure and all that good stuff. So um, there, like that. Okay, so next I'm going to do is color in this truck. And so this is one of the easy, simple ways you can use your Stampin' Blends. If you have not purchased any of the Stampin' Blends yet, or you're not sure what I'm even talking about when I say Stampin' Blends, let me share with you what our blends look like. So our blends, you can purchase our blends for a 50 for one or $9 for a set of two. This happens to be the Cherry Cobbler. It comes in a dark Cherry Cobbler and a light Cherry Cobbler. And what I did is if I bring my sample in, you can see that I actually colored some of the light and then some of the dark here. And that just gives you a nice variegated look. It makes the truck look a little bit more realistic than if I was just to use a standard marker. Um, the other awesome thing is that each one of these markers is double tipped. So you have more of a fine tip and you can tell which one's the fine tip by this fine little line right here. Or it has more of a broad tip by this line right here that is thicker. Now for this, I like to use the more fine tip and these markers are very, very easy to use. I love to use them. Um, they blend amazingly well. They color great. Just love them. So I am just going to outline this hood a little bit. And I'm not going to actually color the whole truck in because you'll get the gist of it. Um, but I'm just, I wanted to show you the different colors. So that is done with the light cherry cobbler. And then I'm going to bring in the dark cherry cobbler. I need to get my right side here. And I'm going to color in this little fender here. So you'll be able to see the different color of look I get between the two colors. So I always tell my customers, if you're going to get one, get the other. <coughs> Pardon me. Because it really does help with that coloring ability. Now what I did for the, um, the tree, let me bring in my sample again. So the tree also has a little bit of a variegated look to it. And all I did, and I always tell my customers, don't overthink it. Just color with it and have fun. So I used the light old olive, and I simply went over the entire tree, like so. And then I took the dark old olive, and all I did was add a few little dots here and there. And you'll see that that adds just some awesome dimension to that tree. I love it. So awesome. <coughs> so from there, you're just going to continue coloring that truck. And I adhered that directly onto my card without any kind of, um, without any dimensionals. But look at that beautiful card that you have. And again, it's the coordination of the paper and the colors that I used in the coloring that really make this card come to life. So anyway, if you don't have this stamp set yet, I encourage you to add it to your collection today. It is definitely one of my favorites, and I'll be showcasing a card that I'm making for my husband for his business Christmas card. <coughs> Pardon me. But every year I do a, a business um, Christmas card for him to send all of his customers, and he wants me to use the truck on that for him this year. So stay tuned for that to come in a few weeks, and I look forward to seeing you all back here next week. Hopefully I'll be feeling better and have more of a voice then. Um, but again, make sure you check out the description of this video. It will have all of my information linking back to my blog post and all the other social media outlets in which you can find me. 